Hello once again, and welcome to the third screencast in the Light and Optics unit. Uh, today we're going to focus on, a qu it's a quick review really. Uh, the first half is a quick review on light and how it interacts with different materials. A uh, quick review on shadows. And then we're going to talk about, uh, which will extend us into reflection, and what exactly reflection is, and then we're going to talk about the law of reflection. So, quick recap here. I'm sure some of this is going to be very familiar, uh, so we'll go through this in a, at a fairly brief and quick pace. Um, scientists have always used or in, have standardized the use of ray diagrams to show the path of light. Each straight line represents a ray of light. Uh, the picture on the left, that is ray, as in Ray Charles. The uh, drawing on the right is a ray, so don't get ray confused with a ray. Okay? They're quite different. We use the ray on the right to depict uh, the pathway of light. Okay, Now we know uh, that light travels in straight lines. We can see this if you stand in front of a projector or a flashlight. Uh, light doesn't simply curve around you. Therefore, we, can, we notice and we can predict it always travels in straight lines. And we use a ray diagram to help us predict or draw where shadows may be formed from the path of light. Take for example on this diagram here. The light source would be on the left. You have two solid objects, one closer, one further, and then a, a screen on the right. And the object that appears closer to the light source will produce a larger shadow because fewer light rays will pass uh, are pass past it. Whereas the object that's slightly further away will produce a smaller shadow because more light rays will pass it. Uh, same thing with the way your eyes view uh, shadow or light. The closer you are to a source of light, the more light rays strike your eyes and the brighter it appears. The further you are away, the less amount of light rays strike your eyes and the dimmer it may appear. Very simple concept. I'm sure it's been reviewed with you uh, in previous years. The idea of this further away or closer to uh, light rays um, allows scientists to actually take advantage of this property to see things far away, far away. Because the closer the object, the more rays will reach your eyes, which means, as I mentioned, it appears brighter. Telescopes take uh, this, uh, this uh, property to the extreme advantage. It collects as much light as possible so that you can see the um, object in outer space from astronomical dif uh, distances, because okay, it collects all the possible light it can. Now, sometimes light uh, will pass through an object, sometimes it won't at all, and sometimes it's kind of in between. Uh, whenever light hits an object, it behaves in one of three ways that tells us all about the materials. It either is uh, transparent, uh, the material is translucent, or it is opaque. All three of these, again, probably review for you. Transparent which means that something can transmit light. Light travels right through it. Cellophane, cellophane glass, uh, anything that light can travel directly through, we say it's transparent. Translucent, now some of the light may get through, but not all of it. Uh, wax paper is a good example. Uh, the classroom blinds, when they're all the way down, some light passes through, but not all of it. I also like to think of the example where uh, you put a flashlight up to your fingers, and you can see that some light passes through because your light, your fingers appear bright red, but not all the light. And opaque, nothing gets through. Uh, a wall, a steel door, a safe, wh whatever you'd like to think of, where no light passes through at all. Okay, Transparent, translucent, and opaque. And we can demonstrate these three through this simple diagram. Notice the transparent one on the left, everything passes through. Opaque, everything bounces back. And translucent on the right, uh, some stuff bounces back, some stuff uh, bounces through. So again, just a quick review of uh, what these three materials are. Now when light does strike, let's say for example, an opaque material, so that would be the center one there, uh, where everything bounces back. When light uh, hits an opaque material, uh, we have something that occurs called reflection. Uh, if it hits an even surface, we call that regular or, or reflection. There is another name for it, but it's escaping me at this moment. Um, regular reflection is when light evenly reflects. Uh, the light coming in is the exact same angle as the light going out. If we hit a crumpled piece of uh, tin foil, let's say, or an uneven surface, we get something called diffuse reflection, where each individual light uh, causes 
uh, each individual ray, sorry, is reflected at different angles because the surface is uneven or rough. And then it appears that this, the surface is actually not uh, reflecting light at all because the light rays aren't all coming back to your eye at the same point. They're all bouncing off into who knows where. Okay, so regular reflection is when the light coming in is the same as the light going out. The angles are the same and it's a very smooth surface. Diffuse reflection, light rays hit a very rough surface and the light is scattered everywhere. Okay. Uh, taking a look at this list here of six items, can you predict which ones would have regular or diffuse reflection? Which ones would reflect light very evenly? And which ones would scatter the light? Okay. Now, the reason that uh, when we talk about regular reflection, the reason that this angle here, this incoming ray, is equal to this outgoing ray is because of something uh, that actually we see almost every day in many different scenarios, not just light, something called the law of reflection. Okay, The reason that we can predict where the light will travel or where the light will reflect during any type of reflection or even when you bounce a ball against the floor, the reason you can predict where it's going to bounce off of is because of the law of reflection. And this states that the angle you shoot it at the ground, the ball for example, the angle you shoot the ball at the ground at, or the angle you shine the light at the mirror, it's going to reflect or come back away from you, or away from the surface, sorry, at the exact same angle. Okay, A ray of light will reflect off a plane mirror at the exact same angle as it comes in. A basketball will bounce off the floor and leave the floor at the exact same angle it came in. Law of reflection. Okay, so to hopefully help explain the law of reflection, let me do a very crude uh, diagram for you. Please excuse the unstraightness of my pen here. Okay, so first of all, we need something for light to reflect off of, and we need a mirror. Here's our mirror. Uh, our light ray will be represented by this red ray, and in it comes, and it strikes the mirror here. Okay. Now, the point at which it strikes the mirror actually creates our first uh, thing we have to be aware of. Uh, we're going to draw a line like this that is actually perpendicular or straight up and down from our mirror. And we're going to call this line our normal. Okay, and I'm just going to write a quick letter here to remember, help us remember. Put up an N and then we're going to define that. Okay, this is our normal and the normal is defined as the line that is perpendicular to the mirror at the point of reflection. Okay, So here we have our normal and we have this light coming in. It's a flashlight striking a mirror. There's an interesting angle that we want to pay attention to and it would be the angle right in here. Okay, This angle is known as the angle of incidence. I'm going to abbreviate this as AI. And this is the incident ray, as in the incoming or the beginning ray. So incident ray, angle of incidence. And the angle of incidence we pay attention to uh, because it's going to help us uh, solidify this law of reflection. The angle of incidence is defined as the following. It's the angle between the incident ray, or the first ray, and the normal. Okay, Angle of incidence on between the ray coming in and the normal. Please pay attention that it is not between the mirror and the ray. It is not here. That is a no-no because we are not measuring that angle. Okay. Now, so our light ray comes in and now it's going to bounce away. Boing. And again, excuse the crudeness of my drawing. And it bounces off this way into space or into the air and it's gone forever. Okay. Now, if I were to draw this exactly perfectly, uh, this angle would be our other interesting angle. This is now our angle of reflection, right? Because it's bouncing off, it's reflected. And this becomes our uh, reflected ray, RR. Okay? Now we have an angle of reflection, and that is the angle between the normal and the reflected ray. Again, the normal and the reflected ray, the angle in there, create our angle of reflection. Notice it is not here. 
Okay, we do not want to measure between the mirror and the ray. We want to measure between the normal and the ray. So if my drawing was perfect, like this one, it would tell us that the angle of the incident ray will always equal the angle of the reflected ray. And that's the law of reflection. No matter what angle that first light ray strikes the mirror, it will always bounce off at the exact same angle going outward. Law of reflection. Angle of incidence is identical to the angle of reflection. You try that with a basketball, try that with a bouncy ball, try that with a laser on a mirror. It doesn't matter what it is, it's always angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Okay, so knowing how light behaves when it when it strikes a surface is very important when we start to talk about uh, properties of light. So this is one of the first uh, red flags I would put up for you. Make sure you totally understand law of reflection because not only is it important in physics, uh, but it's something that's going to be coming up again and again as we go through this unit. Okay, any questions? Please write them down, and we'll discuss them uh, later on. Thanks very much.